Good morning, dear students. I hope you all are safe. Welcome to SST class. Students, in previous class, we had started our chapter Movements of the Earth, in which we had talked about the movement of the Earth, rotation, causes of day and night due to rotation. In today's class, we will going to start with the new topic that is revolution and seasons. Okay, quite number of time you heard about this term revolution, but you are not clear exactly what revolution is. Okay, before we proceed the chapter, let me tell you what is revolution. Revolution means when the movement of the earth around the sun. With a diagram, I can explain you that this here you can see a diagram. This is a sun and this is a earth, the blue one. Okay, when the earth move around. When the earth move around the sun, it's known as revolution. Okay, so let's begin with the chapter and the new topic. We know that the earth is moving all the time. It rotates on its axis. As we all know that earth rotates every time. Okay, and it rotates on its axis. Axis I have told you in the class earlier class that it is an imaginary vertical line. which passes through the center of the earth at the same time it also moved around the sun the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution so the, the exact definition of revolution is that the movement of the earth around the sun is called revolution the earth follows a fixed elliptical path around the sun is called the orbit now they are saying that the uh earth follow a fixed elliptical path so i will going to show you what is elliptical path here you can see in a diagram the arrow ones this is known as elliptical path means elongated circle stretch in a oval shape okay this is known as elliptical path okay and this is known as the orbit now leap year leap year yes every time we heard about that after four year leap year comes when one day is added into the month of february okay now let's see what exactly it is a year has a 30 365 days but the earth takes 365 days and 6 hours to complete one revolution around the sun Now they are saying that the year has a three sixty five days, but the Earth takes three sixty five days and six hours to complete one revolution around the sun. The extra one fourth day or six hour per year are added. Are added in four hour, four years they form an extra day. But they now they are saying that extra one fourth day means a uh, six hours per day is added in every. Four year, so they form an extra day. Okay, every fourth year, this extra day is added to the year, and that year is known as leap year. Now they are saying every fourth year of the extra day is added to an year, which is known as a leap year. A leap year has a three sixty six days, with February having twenty nine days. So leap year contains basically three sixty days. Sixty six days in the month of February, and having twenty nine days. Now seasons, we experience different seasons. Yes, India experience different kind of seasons. Can you name some of them? They are winter, summer, rainy, autumn, spring seasons. Okay, how do season changes? Let's see. the tilted axis of the earth and its movement around the sun causes season now what happen when the uh, earth is tilted its axis tilted and the movement around the sun causes the season when the earth with the tilted axis revolve around the sun one half of the earth nearer to the sun than the other half now what happen when the earth is tilted here you can see an earth is tilted okay little bit it is tilted so what have you seen that it revolves around the sun due to which what happen one half of the earth which is near to the sun they causes the season the half that is closer to the sun get direct sunlight and longer hour of sunlight 
and hence the days are longer this i have told you the in previous chap in previous class that the the earth which is closest to the sun get direct heat sunlight and long hour of day because they are very close to the sun so thus it is summer over there so here you here you what you declare it is summer season the opposite happen in the other half which is tilted away from the sun it receives slanted rays of the sun and hence it has shorter and cooler days thus it is winter here now they are saying that on the opposite side of the earth what have you seen that the earth half which is tilted away from the sun they receive slanted rays of the sun in previous class i have shown you with the help of diagram what are the slanted rays of the sun hence what happened due to which the days are shorter and cool so it is basically a winter season the diagram on page 37 show the tilt of the earth's axis and also show that the equator divides the earth into two equal parts that is the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere okay in page number 37 let's see on page number 37 here you can see a diagram okay uh, the sun here is the sun and over here is the earth the sun the earth which is near, closest to the sun having direct sunlight due to which what is there day time okay and which is opposite to the other side of the day side it is night time and it is very cool and having short day okay so this is an earth okay which is here you can see a broken line which is known as equator so the equator has divided the earth into two parts this one is known as northern hemisphere and the downward side is known as southern hemisphere okay now let's see the meaning of hemisphere hemi means half and sphere means round shape okay hemi means half and sphere means shape the two hemisphere have opposite seasons yes the earth is which is divided into two parts into two sphere they have different opposite season when the place in the northern hemisphere have summer the place in the summer, southern hemisphere have winter the place uh, now they are saying that the place in the northern hemisphere having summer season what happen the place which is in the southern hemisphere they are receiving the winter season when the southern hemisphere has summer it is in winter in the northern hemisphere now they have done the vice versa when southern hemisphere con contains winter season what happen in the northern hemisphere it is it is winter time okay in between these two season the earth experience autumn and spring season which are pleasant as they are neither too hot nor too cold what happened between this two earth season the earth experience autumn and spring season which are very pleasant to all of us because neither the season is very hot neither it's cool it is very pleasant so we enjoy that season okay students we had completed with our chapter okay so thank you for joining the class and listening the lecture i hope you like it so Take care of yourself. God bless you all. Thank you.